All right, hi, this is the back to school using essential oils. So I just want to, I don't want to take up too much of your time today. So thank you for joining in and I hope you can learn a little something. Um, first thing is my disclaimer. Okay, essential oils do not prevent, treat, or cure disease. So I'm just getting that up front here. So your lifestyle choices can help prevent disease. Your doctor treats symptoms and fixes broken parts, but your body cures diseases, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna help our body do its job, what it's supposed to, okay? So real quick, in case you've never heard about oils or don't know what the heck they are, <laughs> if you think they're just some like roofy stuff or snake oils, I'm gonna give you a quick little summary of essential oils. So why use them, what are they, does quality matter, and how do you use them? So why use them? Okay, so let's just take a quick look at what modern medicine was designed to do and what happens when we take it. So modern medicine is designed to manage symptoms, right? So there's a lot of times people are on prescriptions to manage a symptom that they may or may not even know what the root cause of it is. So the concern is that our bodies are designed to give us warnings when something's not right. So if we're silencing those symptoms, are we really addressing the problem? Not really. That's why you see some people get on medication after medication and they keep getting sicker and um, all they're doing is silencing the symptoms. So um, modern medicine is also made from synthetic agents. So usually they're trying to copy something that they found in nature. Like the pharmaceutical companies can't patent nature, so they have to recreate them synthetically. So man's laboratory, and nature's laboratory are not the same and so we get a copy that's far from complete and then there's um, unknown side effects and reactions that kind of bust out so our next concern is the side effects of drugs that are known and unknown I'm sure you've heard one of those commercials for a drug that tells you about how it's going to change your life and then at the end it rambles on and on this huge list of possible side effects like strokes sleepwalking amnesia depression heart failure and death okay <laughs> So, is this really healthcare? Hey, so essential oils are the natural alternative. So, how do they work? They're nature's medicine. So, long before the laboratories came, families relied on the earth to provide for their needs. So, the beautiful thing about the nature's medicine is that it's able to get to the root of the problem so we just aren't masking the symptoms. We're actually able to help our bodies to heal themselves. So one of the natural solutions is the essential oils, right? So they are, so as you can see, read the list. I'm not, I don't want to take too much of your time. So as you can see that essential oils, you don't have to pay a copay. You don't have to spend all this time at doctor's offices and paying for things that aren't really helping you and frustration. Um, oils work with your body and they're found in plants. So what are the essential oils? They're extracted from plants. So unlike just plain herbs, they're very potent. They can actually be as much as 75% more potent than herbs. Okay, so they are safe. So they're extracted from different places. So it could be from the flower or the bark, the roots, the stems, the peels. It could be lots of, lots of different things. So they are super powerful, okay? And they're, they're really safe because they're natural and you don't have to worry about the side effects and all this, have to wait four to six hours and all that stuff. So it's, it's awesome because as a mom, to use them on your kids, you know you're using something way more safe. And they're more affordable than going to the doctor and paying for prescriptions too. So like I said, they work with our bodies to help our bodies heal themselves. They're not just masking the symptoms, they're actually super powerful tools. So right here, there is, in your cell, there is, viruses can hide out inside your cell, bacteria are on the outside, okay? So that's how come um, when you have a virus, the doctor says you just have to wait it out, right? Because antibiotics can only be treated by, um, can only treat the bacteria. Certain oils can be used internally too to help fight the bacteria and virus in the body. This is awesome because the essential oils can go through the cell wall. So, and right here, and also your body recognizes them as nutrients. So it's not like the synthetics, right? So they work with your body and you do not become immune to them. So unlike medications where you build up resistance, you can't with oils because they're 
um, chemical makeup is so different with each batch of plants that are grown. That's how nature intended it. And I love this quote. Oils perform many of the same functions in plants as they do for us. They come to us as experienced and trained agents for health and healing. So I love how um, essential oil is carbon-based. Our bodies know exactly what to do with them, and they blast right into the cell, and they take care of business. So that speaks a lot in itself right there. <laughs> so does quality matter? Yes, definitely. Okay. There are tons of essential oils on the markets today. As you all know, they're at Walmart, they're everywhere. Um, just even local grocery stores. And everyone claims theirs is pure and natural, and there's not a governing body that regulates essential oils. So it's important to know what it really takes to create a pure oil. So many companies cut corners in at least one aspect of the process, which allows them to offer the oils to you at a lower price point. So I don't know about you, but cutting cor corners is not what I want in products, okay? They need to be as pure as nature intended them to be in the first place. So you have to look at where they're grown, okay? They're put on earth where they're supposed to grow with the climate and the soil and everything that's needed for it. Um, they cannot be treated with chemicals and pesticides. They have to be harvested at the right time of the year. So usually the people who are in that country and they grow it, they know what they're doing distilled at the right temperature and pressure, um, and no chemicals added in this stage either. So you have to make sure that um, they know what they're doing. And thoroughly tested, not just the main way, but um, third-party testing is excellent too. And not tampered with during bottling, okay? There's a lot of oils on the market that just maybe have a little bit of the real essential oil, and then they have other oils from the same plant family thrown in there, so it will smell or look like it, but it actually has fillers. And you have to be super careful of synthetics, of course. So the three ways which you use the oils are aromatic, so you can put it in a diffuser, smell it right out of the bottle, um, put it in your hands and breathe in, whichever way that is the most common way. So it helps your mood, it goes right into your bloodstream, um, eliminates threats in the air. Topically, you put it right where you need it. You can use it for massage, you put it on kids or babies' feet. Um, it's excellent because you're getting it right in there where it needs to. And the third way is internal. Of course, I only recommend doTERRA because of their testing and um, I trust them. So don't just go grab any oil off some health food store <laughs> shelf and think you could take it internally. And with doTERRA oils, you'll see the ones that can be taken internally. They'll have a nutrition label supplements fact on it, just in case you're unsure, but they're pretty good about letting you know. And this can help with things like for um, flu bombs, um, digestive issues, things like when you for gut health, things like that. Now safety, um, essential oils are safe. There are some that are hot, like oregano and cinnamon, and that always need to be diluted. So um, you'll also see in the catalogs and pamphlets and everything, I'll show you which ones to use for, for diluting. You don't dump them in your eyes and ears and nose. <laughs> um, and you dilute with a carrier oil, not water. And if you get it in your eye or wherever, you don't rinse with water because it like pushes it in more. You use coconut oil or other carrier oil like that. Um, so the main thing with essential oil safety is just skin sensitivity. Like I have a couple of kids that have really sensitive skin. They can't even use scented laundry detergent. And so um, you just want to use coconut oil with oils just so they don't um, break out any kind of like little bumps or rash like they would with that. Um, oh, and coconut oil does not, make it less effective. Actually, it helps more because it um, doesn't, the essential oils don't evaporate as much. The heavy fat molecules help keep it and push it in more, so it's better. Always follow the labels, okay? So, which family do you wanna be? Do you wanna be the ones that are always sick every time your kids come home from school? I mean, fall is the time when everyone is getting glumped together in their classrooms, or libraries or field trips and events and everyone coughs and sneezes all over each other and you want your immune system to be strong, right? You don't wanna always be sick because then you keep missing out on things and it's miserable, especially if you have a big family like mine and you don't want it to be passed from person to person. So there are tons of oils out there, but for kids, 
for families, the main oils, I'm just going to go over really quick, that are the best to have for this time of year, okay? Well, actually year round, but especially you need to like up your game and start getting your immune systems built up before fall and winter so you can be healthy. So lavender is excellent to have on hand, okay? This is, I'm just gonna go over the top 10 really quick that we use, we cannot live without, okay? Um, especially for kids. So lavender calms and soothes, you can use it to help to calm down, um, to just chill out, help to help the body to sleep better, reduces anxious feelings and tension. You can use it for skin. So anytime we have like, um, it soothes like itch. So for bug bites and stings and irritated skin, scrapes, burns, everything. Um, you can also use lavender with lemon and peppermint for seasonal issues that you have. Lavender is like a antihistamine and then lemon thins mucus and peppermint opens the airways. So when you take a drop of each of those in a little cup of water every morning, it helps combat like, especially in springtime. But you can add lavender to a bath, pillow sheets, however, you can put it in diffuser. Um, oops. Lemon purifies. So this really helps with your immune system. All the citrus are excellent for elevating your mood. So if you don't have lemon on hand, you can use wild orange, tangerine, lime. They all are really good at that. You can add it to water first thing in the morning to help as a gentle detox for your kidney and livers. Um, liver, sorry. <laughs> and then, like I said before, peppermint and lavender with it for the seasonal support. Um, it's a great antioxidant. Um, you can use them for cleaners and everything as well. So there's multiple uses. So even though you use them for health benefits for your kids and your family, you can also use them to cook and clean and everything. So it's kind of fun because you have so many uses for them. And so the third one is peppermint. So this one is a huge one because you can use it for to help support healthy body temperature. So if you're getting a uh, Fever, a fever is actually good for your body because your body is using it to burn off the bacteria and virus is bugging it. Um, but you want to naturally support your body. So peppermint is very cooling. And so you can just rub it on, the, on their spine, um, dilute it because peppermint can feel kind of hot to little kids, even though it's not, that's what they associate it with. And so you can just dilute it and rub it on their spine um, behind their ears. Um, it helps with, if they have head tension, you can rub it on the back of the neck, a little bit on the forehead, high up, because you want to avoid the eyes. Helps to energize and invigorate, so if they need to wake up in the morning, you can throw it in the diffuser with some wild orange, which also is a mood lifter, um, like before school, or maybe if you just need that burst in the afternoon to do homework. Helps with mental alertness, and you can throw it in things. They're really yummy, especially in the Fall and winter for the holidays, you could put it in hot cocoa and tea and smoothies. And then Maluka, this is great for skin issues. So it helps with your hair and scalp too, your nails, toenails. Um, if you have older kids in middle school and high school and they're in the gym lockers all the time, um, they're barefoot in there. I know in the army, we use we wear foot flops to avoid the junk in the showers, but Mel Luca, you just put it on your feet. That's great for that. Um, gym shoes, you could put Mel Luca or Purify on a, a few drops on a cotton ball and shove them in the toes of the sneakers. Um, that helps to, with odor and all that junk. Um, helps your skin. You can pair Mel Luca with lavender uh, around the ears when um, your kiddo is having issues with that. You can just put a couple drops Melica, a couple drops lavender in the palm of your hand and then just rub it around the ear, not in the ear, but around and behind and down the jawline and put a hot wash rig on there. It'll just nab that right away. Um, discourages certain insects from hanging out in your hair and hairbrushes. Um, and you can also use that to clean. Oregano is the big daddy for all the things that, that uh, maybe you're too tough for the Melica, you can use oregano. It's like nature's antibiotic. So it helps with your immune system and natural defense. It cleanses your gut um, for your gut health. Helps with digestion. Digest, <laughs> I'm just saying digestion. Digestion and respiratory function. Um, excellent source of antioxidants. Of course you can cook with it. Always dilute this one. This is super, super hot oil. Um, but it's a big daddy oil. 
and frankincense is the king, right? So it's like the Jesus oil. <laughs> so um, helps build and maintain healthy immune system. It is great for everything, for your brain, your nerves, your memory, um, everything from the cellular level helps to reduce inflammation, which is huge, um, especially if kids are on inhalers or whatnot, you can use frankincense with breathe. And it's, it's one of the ingredients in the miracle cream. I'll give that recipe up soon here too. And it's used for everything. It enhances the benefits of all the other oils. You can't go wrong with this one. And here's a miracle cream recipe. Um, coconut oil with melica and lavender and frankincense. This is awesome, just keep it in a little glass jar. Um, this will help everything from just dry skin and things like that, alleys, whatever, but also any kind of things that are going on with your skin. Anything, it covers so many things. And now, those were the six main singles. Now, the four main blends that are a must have for your kids is breathe. This is for everything for your respiratory system. Okay, so it opens up your airways helps support healthy breathing. You can diffuse it at night. Um, you can use it during seasonal issues. You can dilute and rub on the chest and neck. Um, it also comes in a roller bottle too, that's pre-diluted. And it has drops and it's in a vapor stick you can rub on your kids. This is a must have for fall and winter, okay? Just have these things on hand. So when you need them, you just grab it. It's, um, you can put it on the sides of your nose too for um, if you have breathing stuffy nose. Deep blue is for muscles and joints. So it helps calm any kind of inflammation that everything that is attached to that, which there's a lot. Of course, you cut back on sugar and that will totally help with inflammation as well. <laughs> so um, the holidays is like <laughs> the worst time. Ha ha mo a lot of the times people get so sick is not in the fall and winter. It's not just because they're all crammed in these hot rooms you know but the um the people don't drink as much water in the winter and then they eat lots more sugar because of the holidays and all that just wreaks havoc on your immune system so deep blue is um soothing it, you can massage it in your kids when they're when they're having those growth spurts and they're like oh you know like in their shins and legs so you can use it on that rub on muscles and knees um before and after they're playing their sports you can keep it in their gym bag older kids no, totally know how to use their oils. Um, and then massage into your neck or back after sleeping wrong, and it also comes in a roller bottle. And then Digestin is the one for entire digestive health. It's for everything from your mouth to the end, <laughs> okay? So it helps to reduce bloating, gas, indigestion, all that. Nausea, we use it for car sickness too. Um, we just keep it in the car, and then when someone's like, when, they are reading in the car doing something they're not supposed to and they know better just um sit there and sniff it right from the bottle put um a couple drops behind their ears on their wrist it totally helps um overeating during the holidays or or if you have food intolerances this is excellent to use on a regular basis um add it to water and tea or directly under your tongue and switch some water down um that's instant relief that's the way i do it and it also comes in a roller bottle so um, like I was mentioning for the kids, you can, um, they can use these and keep them in their backpacks and things too if they need this like throughout the day. On Guard is the third blend and this is like the top dog for immune system. You can look at it at pub, pubmed.gov. There's lots of reports of everything this like Wonder Oil does. Um, it is the immune system oil. It protects against all kinds of stuff. Um, preventative care is the best, so especially in fall and winter, you should be using your oils year round, but especially in fall and winter, diffuse like four to six drops of On Guard in your diffuser every morning while everyone's eating their breakfast and getting ready for school. And if you homeschool, just do it at breakfast time. Um, just to do that daily to get that in their systems. And what I do year round is after all the kids are dressed, by the way, I have six kids, so we've got the system down. <laughs> After everyone gets dressed, I yell oils and they all line up and I put one drop of On Guard in the palm of my hand with some coconut oil and then I just rub it down the back of their, their neck and spine. And so that's just like, it's just like getting dressed. You just get it into the habit and it boosts their immune system and they hardly catch things anymore. It's awesome. And then you can use it as a hand sanitizer spray. They make the On Guard sanitizer spray too or you can make your own. 
um, and then it's in the bomb recipe, which is right here. So this is what I do every time someone starts to come down with something, a scratchy throat, whatever. Um, for the older kids and my husband and myself, we just put it in a gel capsule. This is how many drops we use. The four lemon, two melica, two oregano, two frankincense, and two on guard. That's the protective blend. And so you put it in gel capsule and take it at night and in the morning. So it's like in your body consistently. And the healthy, healthy, you are it seems to work faster so um i don't know my husband doesn't have the best diet but for some reason he takes one and he's fine the next morning i have to take a couple <laughs> but anyway it is so worth it to do this you nab it in the beginning okay and then for kids you can either um just increase the amount of all of them and put it in a 10 mil glass roller bottle so you want at least half of the bottle to be just coconut oil because you don't you want it really diluted okay um or you can just put like one drop of each in the palm of your hand with coconut oil and rub it on their spine and the bombs of their feet okay so do that a couple times and then if they've already caught something and they're in the midst of it um you can do it every, every couple hours it just like totally helps their body so even if you do catch stuff it is a short time that they have it versus the other kids around you that are having it for for like three times as long and it won't go to everyone in the house either so you just flu bomb everyone to keep them from having it and so on guard is such a huge thing that they made all kinds of products with the on guard oil in it so that way you can surround your whole house with this stuff to really help your immune system so there's the cleaner concentrate, laundry detergent, soap, toothpaste, throat drops, beadlets, and soft gels. So the on guard throat drops, that's when your throat feels kind of dry or scratchy or sore. The breathe drops are for coughs. So it's good to have both. And I've tested them both out and they do work for what they're supposed to, right? I've tried the on guard for coughs and didn't do anything. And then the breathe for the sore throat and it didn't work. So it was that they do exactly what they need to do. <laughs> and then if you wanted to make your own hand sanitizer, um, just take a 15 mil spray bottle and put 20 drops on guard and fill the rest with a fractionated coconut oil. Okay. And this is what the fractionated coconut oil looks like. It's coconut oil, but it's a liquid. So it's always a liquid state so you can mix and use things. And all these 10 main oils that I just went over with you is, um, are also in pre-diluted roller bottles. They're called the Touch series or whatever. So they're all in there. What's awesome is that doTERRA pre-diluted them all. <laughs> so it took all the work out for you. So they're not all diluted the same, like the oregano will be more diluted than the lavender. So they did it based on the oil and how much is needed. So it's so nice to have peace of mind. Like if you don't want to be messing around with this stuff, just to have them, you know, on the bathroom counter or by your bed or whatever, that they're pre-diluted. So you can just use them and it's perfect for the bigger kids to use too. And you know that it's safe um, because it's not like too hot or whatever. Now also when we're talking about the health for the kiddos going back to school, you can't neglect the other areas, okay? Essential oils are awesome. They help with so many things, but you also need, for overall health, you need to help reduce their toxic load, help them to get sleep and rest, exercise, and eating right. So it's good to, like I said, increase the water intake, cut back on the sugar. Um, that way the immune system can thrive. Um, make sure they get out there and get some kind of exercise. They're not on their DS or playing Fortnite for hours, <laughs> right? And um, you just want them to get sleep, lots of good sleep. So the average sleep requirement for students is well over eight hours. So those who experience insufficient sleep have an increased incident of illness. It's a proven fact. So it's like such a simple thing to do. It's just get more sleep. So these oils, are excellent. Of course, you know lavender, Roman chamomile, ylang ylang, sandalwood, um, and then there's blends like the Peace Blend and the Serenity Blend. So lavender is in both of those, but they have other things in them. My favorite is the Peace Blend because it has vetiver and lavender and all these things. It smells really good. 
the serenity is kind of vanilla-y, but um, it's okay, but I like the peace the best. And vetiver is like the big daddy sleep oil. Like if you, it's like liquid ambient. All the, all the oils in the peace blend are like the liquid ambient recipe. So, so worth it for that. And you can just rub it on your chest, behind your neck and ears, or diffuse it as you're sleeping. Um, but the kids need sleep. And so just like cut out the digital devices, have a bedtime routine. Um, you could do read books before bed, you know, like dim the lights, have it so your body can actually calm down. Because if you're staring at that screen, your body can't calm down and relax the way it's supposed to and get solid sleep. So make sure your kids are getting sleep. And then the best we do, even if you are super crunchy granola hippie mom with all your homemade goat cheese and you grow your own grains and make your own bread, <laughs> um, there are still gaps in nutrition. You cannot eat like loads of fish and everything every day. And so that's why the vitamins come in. And I'm really impressed with doTERRA vitamins because I've tried so many. I used to live in Eugene and went through all that hippie stuff and it wore me out. <laughs> so finally I found these vitamins and, and they work. It's simple. It's one bottle of vitamins and then the fish oil. And it's a real fish oil and it has um, um, wild orange essential oil in it. So even my little guy takes it. So it's so easy. And then the, um, the chewable vitamins. So I don't think I have the, no, the, they have the PB Assist, which is probiotics, and they're like in a little sachet tube thing, and they taste just like pixie sticks, <laughs> which is awesome because kids love them. They think it's candy, but it's probiotics, and it's so good for them. And so, um, and the vitamins here are chewables, and sometimes adults take them too if they can't swallow pills, but they're like whole food sources in there. So your body does not waste any, okay? So that's, that's the good thing here. And then here's a formula for homework success. So what you can do is you can add um, peppermint, peppermint and wild orange together. Those are the energizing oils. You can put a few drops of each in the diffuser um, while the kids are doing their homework. And then there's lemon, and rosemary is another great combination. Rosemary is great for memory retention and concentration, and then it helps with all the mental activity. So those are great things to have on hand. You can experiment, play around. You could just Google doTERRA um, diffuser blends, and there's a million out there. So, but these are just a couple for helping the kids with their schoolwork. So start the school year off right with essential oils, okay? So we don't want to be unprepared. We know what happens every fall and winter. You, you're gonna, as long as you're living in this world, you're gonna catch something, but you want to be able to have your immune system the best that it can. That's why you use the oils and the vitamins, drink your water and get sleep, and you'll be so thankful <laughs> that you won't be getting every single thing that comes down the pike. And also um, the hand sanitizer spray, like I said, the On Guard makes a sanitizing mist spray. Um, you can just throw that in their backpacks. Um, there's little keychains that you can get um, with little tiny bottles you put oils in and all the main oils and you can clip it in the inside of their backpack um, pocket. So they can use it during school as they need or after school programs or sports or slumber parties, whatnot. And they'll always be prepared and they'll feel so important that they know how to use these oils. So um, that's about it. So I hope that helps you with getting prepared for school and that this should be a fun time. You know, you have all new books and new teachers and even if you're homeschoolers like we are, um, there's a lot of homeschool co-ops and groups and you're still around people like the library and you're going around the field trips and stuff. So you just want to be prepared and be healthy. And um, so you can enjoy your holidays more <laughs> without having to worry about all that. So anyway, thank you for listening. And I hope this helps you out a little bit. And have a good school year.